tonight, tonight I wanted to talk about motorcycle petcocks. So here on the right is the traditional motorcycle petcock. With most your carbureted bikes, fuel injected bikes, not so much. Put that up there for now. So when you've got it in the on position, on, it's pulling the fuel out of the higher position right here. And when you flip it to reserve, burp, it then pulls it from down here. Now you see these little socks here at the top? That's your fuel filter. That's the only fuel filter you need. So here's your regular fuel supply. Here's your reserve fuel supply. So it sits up inside your gas tank and it pulls fuel from up here. And then, oh, I guess it's running low. I need to flip to reserve. Boop, and it just pulls from down here instead. Now, this is a mechanical uh, petcock, but some of them are vacuum actuated. So in their case, see, this one's got an off. Um, on the vacuum actuated ones, they'll have a little diaphragm on the back here with a vacuum hose going to one of your intake boots. So as soon as the engine stops spinning, it loses vacuum and it closes the fuel automatically for you. Some people don't like those because sometimes the fuel... Uh, the diaphragm can go bad and then the fuel won't shut off or it can leak out the back into that vacuum hose. I haven't had that too often, but I can see the concern. And when someone says they switch to a mechanical uh, fuel pet cock, I'm, I'm not too shocked. But here's the next thing. These are these handy little inline, inline fuel filters. So your standard gas tank on a motorcycle, let's say it holds five gallons. So at the fuel supply, you've got whatever pressure five gallons of fuel is going to supply. Gravity feed, no fuel pump. The fuel line pressure is simply whatever five gallons of fuel. And your fuel pressure then is going to go lower and lower and lower as you go from five gallons to four gallons to three gallons to two gallons. So when you're down here at your lowest setting, there's very little fuel pressure. And you didn't start off with much fuel pressure to begin with because, again, gravity fed. So... If you put one of these inline fuel filters in line here, one, the only thing it's filtering is whatever got past this one, and two, it adds an extra restriction. I had a customer tonight, and what was happening is his bike would run perfectly fine until he got down to the last quarter of a tank, and then it would start dropping cylinders. You'd park the bike for five minutes, it'd fire right up and off you'd go. What was happening was he had this actual filter in line and when the fuel pressure dropped that tiny little bit it couldn't push past two filters so there's a tiny little bit of a restriction here and these are while they're clean there's some restriction but if they have any debris on them at all then they're, they're slightly more restriction and then he put this in line thinking he was doing himself a favor well he really wasn't because anything that would get past this filter will get past this one too. There, there are no more of a filtration. These are pretty good filters. The downside of these, of course, is um, you have to remove the petcock to clean them. Uh, whereas if you use the inline, you can just shut the petcock off, replace or clean your inline filter, put it back on, then turn the fuel back on. So if you do want to run an inline filter, just remove these socks here. Remove them both. And then you can run an inline filter. And then when you go to replace your fuel filter, you just shut your fuel off, replace your inline filter, turn your fuel back on. So that's not a bad plan. You can remove these, rip them off, exacto knife them off if you want, whatever. You can remove these. But if you are going to leave these in place, then don't put one of these inline filters in place. Because as your fuel level drops, <laughs> it's not going to be able to keep up. And what you'll find then is that the bike runs perfectly fine for three quarters of the tank. And then towards the bottom quarter, suddenly you've got fuel starvation issues. Let the bike sit five minutes, fires right back up and off you go. It's very confusing. Sometimes people think they're having a, uh, a spark issue. Well, the issue is too much restriction in your fuel line and you're uh, restricting your fuel supply. Anyway, thought I'd give you some information on that. Don't run two fuel filters. Run this or this, never both. All right, good luck, everyone.